Hi, I'm Michael from Takumiko. Welcome back to the fourth episode of Learning from the Pro. If you are new to this channel, this is a professional go game sharing that is suitable for Q players. Today, I will introduce the game of Ichiliklio again. I introduced his game with children in the first episode of Learning from the Pro. In that game, he did not manage the small detail of life and death well and lost the game. But back to the Japan local tournament, run free of Zhu Dan. He showed his skill of attacking. He killed the enemy's dragon through a series of intense attacks. This game showed how professional players manage an attack. Before getting into the topic, I want to share a Tetsuji with you first. You probably know the term Tetsuji, but what exactly does this term mean? Sometimes we say any good move as Tetsuji, but I think Tetsuji should better indicate a special powerful move in a specific shape. Let's look at this example. In the left bottom corner, why could play a Tetsuji? Do you know where is it? If you are good at Tetsuji, you may probably know one of the answer. Is the attach. Breath needs to connect. If Breath didn't connect, play a Hane, then White could capture this two stone. After Breath connect, White could sacrifice the two stone and block Breath in the corner. However, this is not the best choice of white, because white influence still could be cut. White need to play one more move to protect the influence. And secondly, these two stones divide the black stones into two, so it's kind of the key stone. White would not like to sacrifice it. So there is another Tetsuji. Also is a attach, but at this point, black could not play a move like this one because white could play a ladder. Black normally only have two choices, a bamboo joint or a push. Let's look at the bamboo joint first. After a bamboo joint, white need to connect. Then black is better to bend this move. If black didn't play this move instead jumping at this point, then this move is very comfortable for white. Black could not play this tiger move because the two key stones would be captured. You may think two stones is not bad, but the point is that if White captured these two stones and connected. Black stones become lonely and needed to do a one side escape. It's not favorable for black. So black could only connect at this point. This shape is quite poor. So black will probably play this band. But let's compare to the normal move. Normally, White could escape at this point. If black plays here, it will become a complicated fight. But black may play here. After black play this point, white could not play this. If white play this, this time the extend become powerful. White need to keep extending on the second line to life. This is not good for white. So white need to play a Hane here. Then black could hit and reach it. Compared to the Tetsuji, black hit this tone. So black is a bit better than the variation that white play this one. In this variation, black could not hit this tone back. Black also has another choice. is to sacrifice and exchange like this. To compare, white actually could directly play this too. But if we play the Tetsuji, you can see two black stones are captured. 
while if we only play the normal move. Only one breadstone is being captured. You may think it's not a big difference, but AI suggests that there is 20% difference in the win rates. I also quite impressed to the win rates given by AI. But anyway, you can see the Tetsuji makes better results than the normal play. It's the key point of this shape. In the real game, Ichiliki Leo also played it here. So, please remember this move. It's a cool Tetsuji. Now, let's get into the topic. At this moment, the triangle black stones are not yet safe. To play safely, Black could just play a jump because white is not drawn here so black is safe after a jump then white may play a big point at this area in the real game black choose to play the big point after a pip and ask white to attack him why black choose this actually there is a reason for black choice the reason is black think these stones are hard to attack. There are two common ways of attack in Go. Firstly, attack to kill and capture enemy stones, a direct attack. The other way is to attack while gaining more territories. These both are the basics of attack, but in this situation, it's a bit confused because it's quite difficult to kill these black stones. While it's also hard to surround any territories by attacking these stones, and Black already controlled the two big points here. So let's see how Lichilikulio managed an attack. Firstly, White needed to prevent Black to connect with his friend. The group on the top left is the most accessible friend for Black Dragon. So White played it here. White did not play this because he did not want Black to play the attack. The direction of attack is not correct. White played it here instead. If Black attached now, White could play a hundred. You can see this two stone is in a good position. It's only a small detail, but you can see professional players choose points carefully. In real game, Black did not attach. He played a jump. Then White pushed. Black played a diagonal move. This diagonal move tried to enlarge its escape rope. Needed to note that White could not cut the Black stones. For example, this a tiger move. Or this one. There is no way to cut the black stones. You can see the escape rope of black is quite wide now. From this point, white started a decoy tactic by a shoulder hit. If black escape, letting white play one more move here or here, white will gain a lot of territories. It's hard for black to sacrifice this stone. So black play the this and a knight move. Need to notice that black could not use force. Because the dragon in the middle may get in danger. If black try to play here to advance, why could just push? If black block, then white could cut. If black push, then white could play a ladder. This exchange is not successful for black. So black choose to defense on the edge instead. It's better to play a knight move than a band, because a band helping the opponent to play a jump. After the opponent jump, this tiger mouth is very comfortable and back. So black probably need to prevent white to play a tiger mouth. If black play a knight move now, then why not play a knight move earlier? This exchange is 
better for white. If black play the death extent, yes, white may not try to divide the black stone as this cut is quite severe for the white stones. However, white could just play a knight move. This divide of black stone is still quite big, so black probably need to play one more move. Then white may just play a diagonal move here or here to attack the black stones. In both ways, this exchange would be better for the white stone. A knight move is to prevent white to gain more advantage. Then in the real game, white ban, black push, white hane, black jump. You can see white brought the black to connect to the edge now because this is a center for white. Also, even if black try to play a tiger mouth here, white could stop black from connecting to the edge. After this shoulder hit, the escape rope of black already narrowed a lot, comparing to this moment. You can see the escape rope already narrowed. The next move of white is an attach here. It's a very common play for a decoy tactic, attach, as it gives Blackstone the greatest pressure. Black try to reach it. In this shape, normally white should connect as black may play a hane to cut the white stones. However, in the real game, Ichirikuleo forcefully creates a new influence with the expense of a lot of territory, a press. White decided to give up the territories to gain influence. Uh. After an exchange, Brass gets the territory at the corner, while White gets some influence. With the influence, White makes a final attack. At last, Ichirikuleo successfully killed the Black Dragon. It's quite complicated, so I will not go through it. All the Black Stones dead. To conclude this game, I think a D2 tactic is always easy to say, but actually it's not easy to do. Shoulder hit and attach are both common measures to offer decoy tactic, but also we need to consider different factors. Firstly, we need to take care of enemies' escape routes. First, white prevented black to escape to the nearest friend. Then he brought the Blackstone to escape to the edge on the right. Lastly, he gave a lot of pressure to the top edge to gain an influence for the final kill. And a decoy tactic. We sometimes also need to throw away the usual way to play to give opponents the greatest pressure. For example, this move. As our opponents trick or cheat. That means safety of the dragon or regional benefits. If our opponents choose the regional benefits, do you have the confidence to compensate your loss through the attack? If they choose the safety of the dragon, could you gain enough benefits in the region? Actually, in this game, if you ask AI, it suggested white to choose regional benefits. But Ichirikuleo is confident in killing the white dragon, so he burns his bows and makes the kill. He gives up the territories at the corner to gain this influence in the middle. The reason of his success is he gave enough pressure to the opponent, 
no matter you like territory more or influence more, it is important to play intensely, not to let our opponents feel uncomfort. That's all for this game. Remember the free Tetsuji. The attach, the shoulder hit, and the attach again. These are quite common moves, but still very useful. That's all for this sharing. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video. We need your help to grow our community. Thank you.